question. The lady right here, second in and the red. I'm Betty Chapman from Franklin, and uh, we have relatives in Canada. And um, when the grandmother needed to go to the hospital, she was refused admission to the hospital. But they were given family counseling to determine the best method of euthanasia. How can we keep that from happening here? And I appreciate that question so much, Betty, and I brought along my, my bill. Uh, let me talk a little bit about that, and then I want to re uh, let uh, Dennis make a few comments about that. The, the provisions about the additional counseling come in the bill in uh, Division B. If you go to our website, blackburn.house.gov, you can pull up the whole bill, and then you can pull up the alternatives. There are two bills there that are alternative ways to address this through free market reforms. So I hope all of you will go pull those bills down and join me in reading the bill. It is a great summer reading, a great summer reading project. It will put you to sleep every night better than Summon X ever dared to be. But uh, go to Division B, Title II, and then you're going to get to Section 1233. It is Advanced Care Planning Consultation. Uh, provides coverage for consultation between enrollees and practitioners to discuss orders for life-sustaining treatment, instructs CMS to modify Medicare and you, the handbook, to incorporate information on end-of-life planning resources and to incorporate measures on advanced care planning into the Physician's Quality Reporting Initiative. Now, this is uh, what we have heard so much discussion about, and uh, it came to my attention this morning that the Senate had said they were going to pull that out of the bill. <laughs> Thank goodness. We are, we are pleased with that. But the point is, if my husband and I have a living will, we need to make that decision. The federal government does not need to <laughs> When you do look at that section, uh, my, uh, I, I really did have to catch my breath. Because when I read that of what a federal benefit that ultimately legislation gets turned into regulation, which turns into licensing providers, uh, etc., and very specific, including the discussion of uh, withholding uh, uh, hydration, this is very specific legislation. My response was, it, this goes too far. We, we cannot have people, uh, people want information. And uh, when we are with our own health care, with our loved one, we want information. But that decision is ours and our slow, solely, that we talk about with our ministers, that we talk about with our spiritual advisors. Uh, but for some a government paid uh, individual and these aren't doctors. Again, uh, the healthcare providers. The definition: a whole bunch of people would become licensed to do this. Knocking on people's nursing home doors in a vulnerable state is not what we should be doing. And uh, the news that uh, uh, Senator Grassley has insisted that that it, legislation be pulled uh, is a great uh, a great turn of events. Okay, over to this side.